How's it, gang? We're here at Jean's Filipino Kitchen and we're gonna make a uh, Filipino comfort dish called Sari Sari. Spelled S A R I S A R I. And, you know, I'm not gonna apologize. I'm not gonna say sorry, sorry if this thing comes out crappy. So, but I'm gonna try my best, okay? So, anyway, these are the ingredients. It's kind of a soupy dish. So, here we have um, some garlic some onions, some ginger, and some cut up tomatoes. Then we have some beans, some Chinese roast pork, some eggplant, some green squash, uh, some fish sauce, uh, shrimp, uh, some cut up veggies, and then the salt, pepper, and some water. Okay, so the first step is to create your soup base. So first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna saute this um, ginger. So we throw it in and I let it all saute. And so in here we have a few tablespoons of um, oil here. So you kind of like brown that um, uh, ginger so it has a really nice um, base in that oil. Okay. So just gonna brown it a little bit. This takes a couple minutes. Okay. So I feel like this heat is a little bit too high. So I'm gonna turn it down a little bit. Yeah. So you know, I must like give my Filipino uh, a lesson here, you know, because Filipino language, I mean, I don't know if you go around like cruising around Kalihi and you from, we want Haole from the mainland, you have no idea what the heck these guys are saying. You know what I mean? So, you know, whenever, you know, like the F's are all pronounced like P's, you know, so I don't, kind of confusing. P's are sound like P's, F sounds like P's. Like Filipino or Franken, oh, Frankenstein. <laughs> so anyway, oh, let's get back to this. Hey, Alexander, okay, check this out over here, see? Now we're getting it nice and brown over here, okay? The next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add what's called the Filipino Trilogy, okay? So if, are you guys anybody familiar with like Cajun cooking? They have the Cajun um, Trilogy, which is typically bell peppers, celery, and onions. Well, Filipino got their own. Us Filipinos, bro, we get everything, man, I tell you. Okay, so the first thing is garlic. That's the first of the Trilogy. One. So we add a couple of cloves of garlic, all chopped up. Gotta brown that a little, about, about a half an onion. Brown that over there, and then the tomato. So right here, we have a nice base forming. So I cover the F's, yeah, for the Filipino. The other one is TH. There is no TH. Everything is th or D. Like they, they, they duck, jump over the fence. <laughs> Yeah, well, that's a, that's, a, that's a pretty good joke. Anyway, so anyway, so yeah, so you know like the F is like, sounds like P, you know, get it? The duck, jump over the fence. All the R's, you gotta roll, okay? So you just roll those R's, baby. Anyway, check this out. So this is kind of like forming our base right here, right? You kind of like brown that, right? Just keep browning them, browning them, browning them. And this is this is gonna turn out so awesome, you know? You, you, you know, you, Eat this on a cold night. If you don't want nobody for hug and you all bummed out, you can hug your sorry sorry, bro. But this is like your, uh, this is like your classic Filipino uh, comfort food, yeah. So if you need com comfortin, like they, uh, like my tatai say, you can always eat this sorry sorry. Oh yeah, bro. Oh no, oh no, good stuff, good stuff here. Anyway, so I'm gonna turn up the heat a little bit because I think I made them too small. But he Yeah, so you know, you know my grandparents, right? They came from the Philippines, right? They immigrated in like the 1910s, right? So, my grandfather, right? His name was Juan. Juan Solivio. So anyway, hey, get a picture of this, man. So, so, so we're still working on this thing, okay? So anyway, so, so my grandfather immigrates. My grandfather immigrates on this uh, Norwegian ship, right? He gets sent over from the plantations uh, to work in the fields. This is like the early 1900s, right? So anyway, he made, you know, my grandfather's a really cool guy. You know, he made, 
story goes, he made he made friends with the Norwegian captain, right, of the ship. So you know, all the all the other guys were like in steerage with the rest of the rats. But, but here's my grandfather made good friends with the um, with the captain, right? So he was like elevated to dine with the captain, hang out with the captain, and everything, right? So you know. You know, he's kind of like cruising around on the ocean and doing all that on his way to Hawaii on this Norwegian ship and, you know, he got along so well with this Norwegian captain that they decided to give him a name, a Norwegian name. So, his Norwegian name was Hekava. So, from now on, he was one Hekava Salibio. <laughs> Anyway, enough of the jokes. Okay, so anyway, so see, look, we get this thing nice and cooked. See, all the onions are kind of like, um, you know, nice and squiggly. You know, kind of like me after a few uh, beers. Nice and squiggly there. So we got the, the tomatoes, they're all broken down, and then they're in this oil with the garlic. They're all having a ball together, you know, just kind of hanging out, and you know what? It's forming a nice base, okay? So the next thing we do is we're going to take this Chinese roast pork. The Filipinos call it lechon. Those Chinese people call it roast pork. <laughs> I have no idea why, okay? So we're going to dump that in there, all right? So we dump that in there. We're going to like keep stirring it and let it all absorb the nice taste of the oil, okay? Hey, where my beer? Oh, sorry. Sorry, sorry. Okay. Hold on, look, come here, come here, Misha. You know I was gonna make. Come here, come here, come. <laughs> come here, Misha. I like to cook for a little bit. Look over here. Come here, Misha. Come here, come here. You know I was, I was, I was, I was going to make the dog for the meal, but she's too cute. Yeah. Mm, yeah. And you're so delicious. Mm. Okay, good. Get out of here. Eat it. <laughs> All right, okay, okay, check this out now, okay? Okay, so it's nice and cooking. You can smell the aroma. Whew. Oh no, bro, oh no, bro. So anyway, let that cook for a little bit. Now I'm gonna stir fry these beans. So just some green beans. Your standard green beans. Probably grew in Kahuku, I don't know. Something like that. So anyway, we're just letting it cook and forming a nice base, okay? See, so check that out. So this is what you call Filipino comfort food. It's so ono. Okay. So I like the highlights this story about my grandfather, eh? my, my, my grandfather. One heck of a salivio. <sighs> okay. Alright, so let me turn this heat up a little bit. Okay, let that cook for a little bit. You know what, this is kind of a stir fry section of making the recipe. And you know when you stir fry, you're supposed to be stirring it when it fries and not staring at it. Because if not, it will be called stir fry. <laughs> okay? So you stir it while you frying it, okay? Very important. Do not miss that one detail. If not, Gonna be all messed up, bro. Anyway, okay, so anyway, so we're doing this over here, okay? Alright, so the next thing we're gonna do, looks like we got a nice blend over here, okay? Next thing we're gonna do, we're gonna make our base, okay? So I'm just gonna throw about four cups of water in there. Put a lid on it. and be back in a few minutes. Okay, I'm back at Jean's Filipino Kitchen here. So this thing has been um, like simmering for a little while. So we're gonna start to add some of the seasoning. Okay, so the first one is a little bit of salt pepper. And that's really to taste, okay? Some more there. And then the main ingredient is this puppy right here. This is called Patisse, or essence of fish. 
essence of fish. So you know how they make this thing? Right? Well, they, they get all these small fish from like the bay, all right? And then they like, I don't think they even clean them. Head, everything, guts, everything, they kind of like squish them all together. They cook them for a little while and then they throw them in the ground under like, in, under like some really warm heat and let it ferment. And then after that, you get this thing called patisse. So it's like, patisse is like the, you know, one of the common ingredients in Filipino cooking. But yeah, essence of fish, man. <coughs> Whew, the bug is strong, man. Whew. One more time. <coughs> okay, so you just pour them in. Whew. Oh, fish. <laughs> See you guys in a few minutes. Hey gangy, we're back at Jean's Filipino Kitchen, checking out this sari sari. Oh, so his skins is boiling really nicely. So just in a few minutes, um, I'm gonna add some of the veggies. Not quite ready yet, so I think I wanna continue with my Filipino lesson, okay? So the R's you roll like, you know, and then the V's all pronounced like B's, like I love you. <laughs> or something like you know okay so it's kind of confusing language but you know i'm gonna try to put it all together with this song all right peelings nothing more than peelings trying to forget my peelings of love <laughs> take it all right all right let's put some of these veggies in. i'm gonna open this up oh we got a nice boil man Check that out. So it's doing real well here. So we're gonna add some of our eggplant, let that cook for a little while. Add a little bit of our squash. Kind of mix that in. I'm gonna let that cook for about 10 minutes until it gets nice and soft. And we're gonna add the remaining ingredients. Okay? So we'll see you guys in a few minutes. Are we on? I was like, gangy. <laughs> anyway, we're back here uh, checking out our uh, Saudi Saudi, and I think I'm all done with the uh, Filipino uh, language lessons. Mostly because I really don't have any more terrible jokes left to tell. <laughs> anyway, here it is. See, you can see it looks nice. Well, see, the, the squash and the eggplant is nice and cooked. So, the next thing we're gonna do is add our greens. So, this is uh, on choy, bok choy. Kung hee fa choy, I don't know. <laughs> it's just a bunch of Chinese green veggies, but you can use anything. I mean, I've seen people put spinach in here. You can put, um, you know, I mean, Filipinos, they put potato leaves, they put, um, uh, I don't know, anything that's green and leafy, but, you know, I just went to um, Don Quixote and all they had was ong choy and bok choy, so I put them, I buy them and I put them in here. Anyway, so. All you do is just kind of like drop it in and just lay it on there. And then naturally, when you begin to heat it up, um, it'll kind of like shrink. So you're gonna have some shrinkage, kind of like being in a pool. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> anyway, that was another bad joke. So anyway, so we're gonna come back in just a few minutes after we have some shrinkage. How's it, gangy? We're back at uh, Jean's Filipino Kitchen over here. Oh, sorry. And um, the veggies, the greens, been kind of like blanching for a couple minutes, and let's see how they look. Oh, yeah, see? See how they kind of shrank down? I told you it was like, kind of like being in a pool. So, anyway, next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna kind of lay the um, shrimp down. You just kind of want to lay it at the top, and it, it'll just take just a couple minutes because you don't want to overcook this thing you just want to kind of to turn out kind of pinkish so I'm gonna cover it and then we'll be back in about a minute okay how's it gangy back at Jean's Filipino kitchen so anyway we're just gonna check on this and see how the shrimp are doing so it's been in there about a minute and a half or so oh as you can see it's nice and pink 
So like I said, you kind of don't want to overcook this, so I'm going to turn off the heat. And this thing is ready to go. So I'm just going to kind of stir it around. See all those nice blends of flavors and veggies and everything just kind of like, it's kind of like blend it all together. Okay, so I'm just going to take a little bit. I don't like too much pork because it's not good for my high blood pressure. <laughs> anyway, well, I'm going to add a shrimp. Add a shrimp, right? add a shrimp right there. And then, um, well, let's taste this. Okay. Mmm. <laughs> like they say in those cooking shows, even though they think this junk. Mmm. <laughs> anyway, there you have it. Sorry, sorry. Aloha.